There are four categories of mobs in the game. Hostile, Friendly, Water, and Ambient. This video is about the hostile mob category. Spawn Radius Every player has, let's say, a spawn bubble around them. This bubble has a 128 block radius from the player to the edge. Any mobs outside of this bubble instantly despawn. Now let's imagine another smaller bubble inside of this one. This smaller bubble has a radius of 24 blocks. Mobs cannot spawn inside of this 24 radius bubble, but they can spawn anywhere in between the 24 and the 128 radius bubble. There's one more bubble though. This middle bubble has a radius of 32 blocks. If a mob is outside of this bubble for more than 30 seconds, the mob has a chance to despawn. This chance is 2.47% per second, but I don't think you really care about the math behind that. However, if you do care about all the math behind this stuff, I'll have a link to the wiki down in the description. So this spawning bubble is now complete. However, you have to keep in mind that each player has their own entire spawn bubble. Enemy Mob Capacity each mob has its own capacity. Once there are more mobs than the capacity, mobs will stop spawning of that type. The typical enemy mob spawn cap is 70 per player. However, your render distance can affect this. Having a render distance below 10 can severely limit the amount of mobs that can spawn. Spawn Qualifications There are a set of rules every time a mob tries to spawn that if any of them aren't met, the mob just doesn't spawn. The light level for a typical mob must be below 7. You can check this in your F3 menu. If you need help, just leave a comment below, I'll get to you. Mobs can only spawn on opaque blocks. This is any solid block. Blocks that are not opaque are transparent. An example of transparent blocks could be glass, bottom slabs, or even redstone things. A mob cannot spawn inside of another mob. There must be room for them. On the opaque block chosen to spawn the mob, there must be two transparent blocks above it, and the mob also must fit there, of course. And lastly, the mob cap cannot have been reached yet, but there is a slight exception to this. Spawning Cycle Every game tick, there is a check to spawn a hostile mob. A game tick is about 1 20th of a second. I talk a little bit more about game ticks in this video if you're interested. Whenever a spawning cycle begins, if the number of mobs is greater than the mob cap, then the spawning cycle is just skipped. However, the mob cap is only checked at the beginning of each spawning cycle. So let's say you have 69 mobs spawned out of the 70 capacity. On the next spawning cycle, it'll check that you don't have the capacity met yet, and it'll go through a whole loop of spawning mobs. When the spawning cycle ends, you will probably have more than 70 mobs. Mob Density Capacity This is how many mobs of a certain type can spawn within a 9x9 box around each chunk. So new mobs can't spawn within this area unless you move them out or kill them. Surface mobs and cave mobs have a different mob density cap. The Spawning Algorithm Whenever it's time to spawn a mob, the spawning algorithm picks a random X and Z coordinate. Now real quick, if you don't know how coordinates work, click here. Once the spot is selected, it chooses a random Y coordinate between where it's at and the highest block above it. Once all three of these values are chosen, it checks if the mob can spawn. All these checks I labeled earlier in the video under the spawn qualifications category. Whenever the game attempts to spawn a mob, there is a percent chance that it could fail. The closer you are to the bottom of the world, the higher percent chance you have for the mob to spawn. That's why the most optimal farms in Minecraft are built on these really flat areas near bedrock. But we're not done yet. Pack spawning. Each mob has its own pack size that can change according to the game difficulty. A pack is when you see multiple mobs spawn at once next to each other. There is one attempt to spawn a pack per spawn cycle. If the pack spawn attempt succeeds, there are 12 more attempts to spawn mobs for the pack. Each of the attempts are exactly the same as spawning another mob as I just went over. However, the Y value is always the same. Until the pack size is met, a random X and Z within a 41 by 41 square of the block chosen will spawn a mob. Although mobs usually tend to spawn within five blocks of the center. Now, for some reason, Bedrock has its own spawning algorithm that's quite different, but I've been hearing from some of you guys that they might be fixing that. I don't know. Thanks for hanging out with me. If you would like to help the channel grow, hit the like button, leave a comment, and watch another one of my videos next. If you would like to see more videos, hit the subscribe button. But if you don't want to miss any, ring the bell icon. See you next time.